Hey guys, it's Ashley. It's been so long. It's been forever. Um, there's been so much going on y'all and I can't even briefly summarize it all. Um, but I've missed YouTube. I've missed creating content and so much has been going on in our family. And I think when things get busy and overwhelming and big things happen, I withdraw. And I think a lot of people are that way, but I just, um, didn't have the time or I think the mental space to create content for a good while. And just a quick synopsis of what's been going on. Um, about a year ago in March, uh, we suffered a pregnancy loss. I was expecting our son Reed and he passed away at 22 weeks and I delivered him and we got to spend some precious time with him and he was born asleep as they say but we got to hold him and love him and I will most likely do a video about that at some point just possibly to encourage others to tell our story to tell Reed's story because he matters and he's just so loved um, but as you can imagine that was devastating and the grief that we had to process and walk through was so intense and so many different things you know with grief there's just so many layers of grief and it's an ongoing thing but you as time passes I think that you learn to carry that differently and um, just depending on where you are you know emotionally spiritually and God was so good and is so good and was so faithful and is so faithful and he just walked us through the most sorrowful parts of that and he still walks us through that and I'm just so thankful for all that he's done and everything but um, like I said I'll I could do a separate video course on that but that was a really major life event for our family if that's how you want to say it but um, that happened last March and then pretty quickly after I got pregnant again and I recently delivered in February our precious daughter Ruby it's our fifth child and she is beautiful and has brought us so much joy and she's just precious and sweet and we love her dearly and um, she is how many weeks today I think she's nine weeks now so the time has gone really fast um, but with a newborn, you know, when you have sleep deprivation to play, then it's like, is time going fast or slow? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but she's been super, super amazing, y'all. She just has. And so, uh, so I had a baby. That happened. And during all of that, we also moved into a new home. And so I think part of the content I had shared a little bit before on my channel was about our home. We had been living in a beautiful home that was built in the 70s. Um, and I just loved that home, loved that home. And I had big dreams for that home. But, uh, you know, that again, whole separate video. But the long and short of it is that this listing came up and it was on some acreage, but still in a neighborhood and kind of centrally located close to town, which was to us the perfect match. And um, the house is very different than what I've lived in before. It's a craftsman home and um, it's just a different feel, you know? And so I'm getting used to it. It has grown on me so much, you guys. And I have to admit, when we first moved in, like I knew it was the right choice for our family, but it really overwhelmed me and it just felt very different than what I was used to, I was like, I don't even think this is my style. You know, I was, it was overwhelming. But as I've lived in it, I love it so much. I really do. And I love the neighborhood. I think it's, it's a really good match, a good fit for our family. So I'll be showing you guys more of that and just our property, so to speak. And while we were moving, the pandemic has been going on, it has happened. So I don't think any of us have, you know, thought we would be in that position, right? But here we are. And I, 
I, of course, you know, you, you look at everyone's experience. Everyone's experience has been so different, I think, during this time. But for us, I've been thankful for the, um, the chance to just push pause as far as schedules go and having to be lots of places and all of that. It's been wonderful to just slow down and have nowhere to be because that's allowed us to really get into, you know, settled into our house. And during this newborn season, it's been so nice and quiet and I've just gotten to cuddle her and take care of her and it's been great. But clearly, you know, we're all, you know, doing the quarantine styles and stuff. <laughs> but anyway, um, I just want to check in and let you guys know that I will hopefully be creating content as I'm able. My daughter, Evie, has actually encouraged me to get my channel back going because she's really into YouTube, watching different channels, and she was like, Mom, you should really like get your channel back up and going, and I think that's super sweet. And I miss the connection. I miss sharing content. It's good for my brain. It's good for me. I think I always need some kind of a creative outlet, and it's taken many forms over the years, but I really do enjoy creating content. It's time consuming, but I enjoy it. And so as I'm able, I would like to jump back in and share more, but I just wanted to, I guess, reach out and say hi and let you guys know where I've been. And um, I think this is a really good platform for sharing. You know, I've been sharing a lot on Instagram here and there on my stories when I'm able and it's less time consuming than YouTube, of course, because there's no editing or anything, but I miss, um, I don't know, I miss different aspects of YouTube for sure. So um, I, look for, I look forward to sharing, I guess, about our house and we have Disney news that I'll share and just exciting things. And I think in the uncertainty of this time, I think it's good to connect and I think that YouTube is a way to do that. So anyway, I look forward to sharing more with you guys and uh, as I'm able, I, you know, of course, no promises on how often or anything, but I'm just glad to say hi and check in, let you know that we're doing well. And, um, I hope you are too. I hope you and your family are doing well and your loved ones. And I think that this is a time to connect with each other. And so that's what I think is going to be a blessing during this time. So anyway, I will talk to you guys soon and I look forward to sharing more with you guys.